To add a scripted element, right-click on the white space in the viewport and select Create Scripted Element. Right-click on the element and select Edit to open the Edit window. In the Property Editor tab, add a new parameter called Loss. Set kind to waveguide loss and set the value to 3 decibels per meter for now. Under the ports tab, add two ports for the input and output ports of the waveguide. Set the properties type to bidirectional, data to optical signal, position to left for port 1 and write for port 2, and location 0.5. Next, under the Simulation tab, we can add a setup script. You'll notice that there are four sub-tabs here where scripts can be added. The Setup tab contains the script that is used to set the properties of the scripted element, and this is the one that we will focus on. The remaining tabs are for more advanced usage, which we won't cover here, but you can find information about on our knowledge base. I have a setup script here that was discussed in the previous unit pre-written, and I will paste it into the setup script box. In this script, we are setting the absorption using the loss property that we added in the property editor tab. In the setup script, we can only access properties that are defined in the Property Editor tab of the element. Since the ports have been set to bidirectional, we need to specify the S parameter for both port 1 to port 2, as well as port 2 to port 1. For demonstration purposes, the waveguide length is set to 1 meter. Since we have set the value of the loss property to 3 decibels per meter, we should expect to see a gain of minus 3 dB for this element. We can use the Test button to make sure there are no errors within the script. Click OK to close the scripted element edit window and add an ONA to test the element. Connect the ONA to the element and click the Run button. Then, plot the gain result from the ONA. We see that the gain is minus 3 dB, as expected. Now that we are familiar with how to create custom models, we can use custom models to build compact model libraries.